بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا دا ٹاپک فار دس ویڈیو از امپروو پرفارمنس بائی چوزنگ آپٹیمل ڈیٹا ٹائپس وچ از پارٹ آف دا سیکشن آپٹیمائز ماڈل پرفارمنس ان دا پریویس ویڈیوز وی ہیو ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ دا ڈیٹا ماڈلنگ ایسپیکٹ ان اے لاٹ آف ڈیٹیل وی ہیو ایکسپلورڈ واٹ از اے ڈیٹا ماڈل واٹ آر ریلیشن شپس واٹ آر واٹ از دا کراس فلٹر ڈائریکشن واٹ از دا کارڈینلٹی ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا ٹو دا ٹیبلس واٹ از دا کارڈینلٹی ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا کالمس سو آل آف دا کریٹیکل ایسپیکٹس ریلیٹڈ ٹو اے ڈیٹا ماڈل وی ہیو آلریڈی ڈسکسڈ ناؤ ان دس ویڈیو اینڈ ان سم آف دا following videos we are going to discuss the model performance and we are going to see that what are some of the aspects that we have to keep in mind while we are designing data models and that starts with choosing the optimal data types that we are going to discuss in this video so one of the very important aspect once we are talking about data modeling and optimization is that we are always striving to reduce the size of the data model so we are always trying to look at techniques that lead to reducing the size of the data model inside the power bi desktop environment because once we have completed the development we are going to publish this into the power bi service and this also has an implication once we are publishing our power bi file into the power bi service so this is the core concept about data optimi about model optimizations that you are always looking to minimize the size of the data model so in terms of the size of the data model cardinality of the column is a very important factor and this cardinality has also something to do with the data type that you choose but before we actually talk about the data type and why it is uh, important to choose the optimal data type we must understand that in terms of reducing the data model size already power bi is trying to reduce the data model size by employing compression so we have, we have touched upon the vertipack storage engine in one of the previous videos and we have seen that vertipack engine tries to compress the data and then it stores that data so in certain scenarios you can see that uh, here it is showing that we can even achieve 10x compression Uh, on the source data so if you have a 10 gb uh, data in your source then it can be reduced up to 1 gb by just using the compression of the vertipack engine so if you have a smaller model then there are benefits associated with a smaller model which are related to the data refresh rates reduced latency in the reporting having a better throughput in terms of the data refresh and also having less pressure on the source system because as you are pulling in less data then obviously you are loading less the source systems and all of this leads to better calculations and a good user experience and a good query performance for the end report user and lastly if you are publishing your reports to power bi service then in power bi service there are going to be more and more uh, reports that you are going to publish then also in terms of the power bi service you are going to have improved performance of the service if you have smaller model sizes because the capacity if it is a shared capacity which is the case in most uh, users uh, that use power bi service they have a shared capacity then you have some kind of a contention that is taking place and the resources are being shared between a lot of users and the data models are being loaded in the memory which is shared so also if you have the smaller model sizes in power bi service then you will have lower eviction rates so we are not going to cover the eviction rates but it is just a simple concept that if you have a fixed capacity then only those models are loaded which are being used by the user so if you have a smaller model size then more models can be used and eviction would take place less frequent frequently where eviction is basically just pulling the model or pulling the report out of memory and bringing in some new report so all of this is important because this is actually associated with the report cardinality and in terms of the report cardinality the data type is a very important function 
so we know that the vertipack engine uses different data structures for each column so if you have different data types in your data model in, in your different uh, columns then for each of those columns there is going to be a different data structure that will be used by the vertipack storage engine so what are those data structures so now let's look at those data structures so the vertipack storage engine and we have slightly touched upon this topic in one of the previous videos that the best performance for the vertipack storage engine is for the numeric data columns so all the data columns in your data model which have some kind of a numeric data type which could be whole number or which could be decimal number something like uh, and something similar to this then the data structure uses a special kind of encoding which is called as value encoding and this has the highest optimization if you are using text or other non numeric data then the the encoding which is being used by the vertipack engine is called as the hash encoding which is much more complex than the value encoding so let's try to understand the difference between this hash encoding and value encoding by a very simple example so let's say we have a column in a table sales order number and the values in the in this column are something similar to this so we have so 123456 so by having a value similar to this we cannot have the data type for this sales order number as a numeric value because this has a text value so appended as part of the data so if we remove this so from this particular order number or if there are other numbers so if we just remove the numbers part and we just save this column as a simple numeric value then this column is going to follow the value encoding in its current state it is following the hash encoding which is much complex and it is not optimized if compared with the value encoding part so if we have a table which has a lot of records if we have like millions of records and we have a large table then this step can have a significant reduction because the encoding the value encoding is much more efficient and it also reduces the cardinality of the column because now if there are numbers then the cardinality is less important as compared to the text value where the cardinality is very important and every value is going to be unique and you are going to have a more complex hash encoding another example uh, is date time column so if you have columns which have the date time data type where you also have the where you have the date as well as the time in the same uh, column then it is better to split the date time column to a date and time column so again this is something which is very important that you split the date time column make one date a date column and another time column and this is going to reduce the cardinality and again it is going to improve the performance in terms of the encoding that is going to take place on the uh, on each of these columns so it is important to select the appropriate column data types to make sure that the cardinality is optimum so we have looked at a few examples just uh, the examples we saw related to the text data type and the numeric data type and date time data type then if you have a numeric data type we can further improve the performance if we reduce the precision of the numerical columns so you need to be 100% sure that how many places uh, you need to keep after the decimal value if you have decimal values then you can reduce the precision if you reduce the precision then it is again going to optimize the performance of the value encoding algorithm another thing that you need to keep in mind while setting the data types is that if you have columns that are being used in relationship so if you have columns that are used to make a relationship then the columns in both sides of the table on both sides of the table should have the same data type so need to make sure and the best practice we have already seen is that to you have the id columns or the primary key and foreign key and you set those to 
to the numeric value so that they have best compression applied but this aspect is also important because if you are making a relationship and you have different columns then the relationship is not going to work it is not going to give you the result so just make sure that you have the relationships set to the same data type so if you have a text data type in one table and a integer data type in another table and you try a build a relationship between these two columns then the data model will never work so these are some of the points that you need to remember in terms of improving improving the model performance and you have to choose the optimal data type and by choosing the optimal data type you are ensuring that the cardinality is optimum and the data uh, the model is working to the best of its performance capabilities its size is reduced and obviously all of these factors relate to the overall experience and overall model performance inside a power bi report so that's all for this video and i will see you in the next one